CSGO is one of the biggest games of all time, peaking usually at 1.4 million players, with some gambling addicts. Not even playing the game at all, and just buying and sending skins. Where is my skin? I gave it to Ted. Like the XQC. But what if you could play it in VR? Havrock. Havrock is a copy of CSGO. You might want to ask, why? Why would you think that six times? Well, on both games there are council terrorist and terrorist. Terrorists plant bombs by typing in numbers. Counter terrorists does the same thing to defuse the bomb. Except in Pebble, they don't have a wire thing to defuse the bomb. But in Pebble, you have your hands. So today, I want to compare the two games in multiple factors to determine what is the best and to highlight the good and the bad for both games. The community. <laughs> I like CSGO. It's speed, 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 it's speed. But when I came back to play the game after like 6 months of not playing the game, the first competitive match I got was with a literal Nazi. I just thought I could only play it in Hot Survivor. Turns out you can also play it in Cisco. But for some reason the Russians has just decided to invade CSGO, just like a mindless horde of zombies in Left 4 Dead 2. The Russians, for some reason, love playing this game, and I am not totally sure why. I mean, I would be guessing when the Russians started using computers for gaming as well, on a larger scale. And since the Russians are tougher than most people, so they probably looked at a couple of shooter games first, and that's all. Terrorist vs American, where they can shoot Americans. That's what they want to play. But the YouTubers for CSGO is great. With there probably being hundreds if not thousands of tutorials on how to smoke just a little angle or something like that on Mirage. With some tutorials having millions of views. With most Pebble culture creators literally just praying for 10,000 views. Including me. So it's um, I made that dumb tutorial once. But the Pebble community is really good. With yo. most people using being very chill in matches. Yo, yellow, yo, what's up? You doing good? You doing good? Hey, 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 yellow, you wouldn't have uh, But there are some squeakers. By the way, that's another word for a kid that uh, talks a lot and has a light pitch. Uh, I'll also throw that at some point. No, I don't want to talk about it. But the modding community is great, man. I mean, one of the best map is the family map. D-Day. Where well, the gameplay is what you could imagine. It's a lot of fun, okay? But there's also a large collection of CSGO maps, with most of them being played in competitive leagues, with a third of them being original or modded maps that were not from CSGO. Esports. You might know that the CSGO esports scene is huge, with some of the prize pool for winning tournaments going into the hundreds of thousands, or two million dollars. And you should be able to be set for life for one million or ten million dollars. But remember, the two millions had to be split between usually eight people, with them being their teammates. Oh, he's crying in the corner. He, oh, okay. With three of them being used as ringers in case the main players are sick. Yeah, I'm aware that a lot of you niggas <laughs> don't like me, but I don't care about And you also probably give some of the money to the eSports or that you're owned by. So you're probably left with $200,000. Still very, very great, but it's a lot worse than what you see on your television. While your parents are telling you to not play Pavlov and play that shooter game instead. How will I? How, how, I'm trying that. With it not being uncommon on Steam to have friends with thousands of hours in CSGO, with me having a pretty pathetic, absolute deplorable, absolute disgusting 220 hours. And as a YouTuber and an editor, it's important that you can edit videos that can go viral, and the CSGO videos can really, really go viral. Gameplay is very important. <laughs> For any game that wants to be played, it's very easy to say CSGO wins, just because it's a lot older than Pavlov. I've got you in my sight. And a lot more years for the game to be developed and get patches. Fixes small details to improve the game and balance it. And Pavlov and Tisco has nearly the same weapons, with the AK-47 and M4 being nearly the exact same. But when it comes to the more unused weapons, then Pavlov is a little different but still decently close. That's just if you don't include all the other game modes, which has World War II setting, with you being able to play in tankless as I don't know it's crazy. With the utilities being nearly also the exact same, with the smoke and Tisco being better from what I've heard, since I've heard there's a lot of problems from a 
uh, shack or PC power bears of when they're trying to place a smoke down and then the enemy can see them before they can see you. But Pepper doesn't have Molotovs or the, the thing that looks like a whoosh crash bang. I just got killed by a decoy. That I only used when I was a literal baby. With probably being the biggest differences are the famous orb from CSGO and the 50 cannon Pepper. Which is like 0% of the competitive community uses. Since it got banned in PCL. Biggest and best probably. I mean, I know that's like VRL, but I mean, come on. Who wants to play in that? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm probably gonna make like a little analysis on some horror game afterwards. Since I probably won't have a lot of time. Maybe. Feel free to subscribe or just, you know. Watch my videos. I did like two videos that were similar. Like all the other videos on my channel are like tutorials. And then, then I had that one one tutorial which had to pop off. And I hope I can surpass that video. That, that damn video someday. Anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.